Hello, everybody. This is Matt Bergman, and I'm going to share with you Curapod, and it's very similar to Nearpod and Kahoot. So some of those best features all combined and using the power of artificial intelligence to generate lessons for you in seconds. Yeah, seconds. So let's check out how this works. So first of all, you can see it um, gives a little bit of an overview here on the actual Curapod website. Um, and you can see that there's uh, a lot of different things you can learn about. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up in the top corner here and I'm going to log in and I'm going to I created an account already with Google. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. You can also create it with other platforms as well. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Once I log in, I go right here to my dashboard. Now you can see that I already did a lesson on fractions. But that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to actually create another lesson. So I'm going to go right up here to the top corner. I'm going to move myself down here and I'm going to say create a lesson. So once you create a lesson, what you do is you give it a topic and then you put the topic right here and then you choose the grade level. So, for example, if I wanted to uh, talk about adding fractions and I wanted to do that as a fourth grade lesson, I can click on do magic. And now what it's going to do is use artificial intelligence to populate uh, this particular lesson with content and with activities that students would find interesting. I can even go through and modify some of these activities as well. So you can see right here, these are all the nuts and bolts of this program. Um, and as it's adding this in, I can also go in and I can add um, you know, different elements to it. Um, for example, like right now, this is a word cloud activity. So name the way to combine two fractions. Well, let's say that I didn't want this to be a word cloud activity. And instead, I wanted students to maybe uh, have a poll of um, the way that you combine two fractions, or maybe they draw and solve an answer, I can change that. Um, so down here, here all, is all my content. You can see right here, I have fractions or parts of a whole. Uh, they must have the same denominator to be added. Um, to add fractions, all the numerator, keep a common denominator. Now, what if I wanted to change this? Like I have Grammarly open here and, and I'm thinking, you know, I might want to change the wording or I might want to add my own content. I can do that, right? And so I can do that right here. Uh, if I want to add different activities, different, uh, you know, types of elements like different backgrounds, upload my own content, I can do that as well. So how do you actually get this to students? Like, how do you actually present it? So let's show that right now. Let's make sure that we save this. So I'm going to save this as adding fractions. And I'm going to go ahead and I can make it public if I want. Um, I'm going to hit done and then I'm going to present. OK, so I can present right here uh, like I normally would a PowerPoint presentation so we can go through and do, do that. However, this is the Nearpod component is I can go right down here and I can have students join. I love the music. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I can scan the QR code populate with names right here and then I can just simply go and navigate my slides so this is all the content generated by AI and then this right here what strategies do you use um, this is a word cloud activity uh, I can skip through things how do you decide what uh, how which fraction is bigger in comparison so the the other thing is is for the activity to launch for students right you have to click right here this and what will happen is it will then allow students to go through and it's on their device, add content. When you're finished, you can just hit stop. It'll stop right there. So what I also like about this is that it'll put the answers up on your screen, but students will also see their answers and they'll see their classmates answers and they could vote for the best answer. You can skip that voting part right here. You can say, I want to skip it. OK, uh, so you can do that. As you can see, I didn't add anything, uh, but you can even turn the music down right here. There's other settings 
Um, so there's other settings that you can use right here. You can require real names of students. Um, you can moderate responses. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this tool. And I love that it combines some of the, our favorite things in Nearpod, our favorite things in Kahoot, and artificial intelligence and combines them together. This is a game changer. It's going to save you a lot of time. And it's only going to get better um, with your uh, use and also your input of content. So modify that content. Use this. See how it, how it works and how it transforms. Thank you. And this is uh, have a great day.